What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and we have two new game modes that actually was released yesterday in Windigo and Elegy of Nightmare. I probably mispronounced that, but it's all good. So in Windigo, guys, you've seen these things before. We've had lots of events in the past where we can actually choose between these certain characters. Now, these characters have got these little arrows. You want to pick those characters so you can get all of these other benefits. You know, the gain 25% more support points from battles, getting a 20% discount, tactical shop supply, and extra damage bonus of all team members increased by 24%, which is really helpful, especially for newer players. For an account like this one here, it's not really a big deal because a lot of my characters are leveled up. They're over 6,000 BP. It's pretty easy for me to kind of fly through all this. But if you're a newer player, you definitely want to use the characters that they're asking you to use, or at least some of those characters so you can get some of those benefits. And you're going to be able to acquire, you know, a lot of hyper-tuning materials, which is always awesome. You know, some memories to level up some other memories that you're going to have and of course the memory chips which is always nice so you can get an actual memory from the shop lots of little goodies in here and you'll pretty much be able to acquire all these things as you run through this thing guys i mean respite where you can actually heal all of your team members if they die then you can do a little boss battle you can see right now that i've already cleared one of these and I'm able to equip this here. And you can just take a look and see how many times you have to do something. You know, when you're running across the map, you'll be like, okay, do I need to do a respite? Oh, okay, I need a rest here. I need to do this two more times so I can get these rewards. I need to gain 400 points so I can get these rewards. And so on and so on. It's pretty self-explanatory. And all honesty, we'll go ahead and jump in here. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do hard challenge. If you don't want to challenge yourself, you can just hit normal mode and jump in here and go at it. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this, guys. There's no point in watching all that, right? And I'm pretty sure Alpha's probably going to murder this thing, especially with uh, Rosetta on the team. Uh, it's honestly, it's, it's pretty simple, especially for an account like mine. Oh, nice. Rosetta. Okay. And... And boom. Pretty easy. Freaking Rosetta. <laughs> Melting with that damn cannon. And then you'll get some of these resources right here. And then it's going to start all over. Really, you want to try to look for the shortest pathway possible as far as going all the way to the top. But in all honesty, guys, it really doesn't make a huge difference. I've done these where I just flew through here. I didn't even care which one I picked and just kind of flew through here and went all the way to the top. And just remember that these respites, these random events, they don't count as attempts, right? It's only the ones that say elite and skirmish. These count as actual attempts. Tactical supply, random event... Uh, respites don't count as attempts you're gonna get eight of these every single day and whatever team you start with on this particular day you're gonna have to play with that team until the next day when it resets and then you can actually change your team and use different characters so keep in mind if you put a team in here and you play with them in one round you're stuck with that team for all of these eight attempts but it's really pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory in all honesty and then we have elegy of nightmare now this is a brand new game mode so I'm a little bit different we have a shop here where we can acquire some skill points some experience pods, cogs, and all these things by getting these resources right here. Nice little event, right? It's a nice little thing that we can do. And you just want to do each of these twice a day. And every one of these is going to have an elemental advantage. This one here, you actually, fire is going to be the best way to go. So your fire damage dealing character is going to be really good here. And once you clear all these things, you'll be able to get some of these resources here for the uh, shop, right? Very nice, very nice. I've already done one of these today. And just remember to do this twice every single day you don't have to use a fire team you don't have to use an ice team but i mean like in this one here this is asking for ice damage right so obviously lucia plume is going to be the kingdom come here you jump in this one here this is actually going to be uh elegy of nightmare lightning right right so bianca you know a chrome like these characters are gonna be nuts here you know you got your dark right here so obviously dark watanabe uh s Kamoi. i mean all these characters are going to be really good for this but you don't have to use those characters you can use any characters you want and as we progress through this here as we progress through it, you're going to end up getting a better sale for 
Chrome's new skin. It's going to end up getting a 60% discount, which is actually pretty damn nice, guys. This thing originally cost 168 rainbow cards, and it's going to drop to 68 rainbow cards if you play this and finish it all the way through. His skin isn't available, but if you are interested in buying this skin uh, for 68 rainbow cards, which is actually a pretty good deal, uh, considering that it originally cost 168 rainbow cards, then you would definitely want to do this. And even if you're not getting this skin, you're free to play, you should do this anyways, because you're actually going to be able to get, you know, just see these little bitty rewards. You actually be able to get some things from the shop that can help your progression in the game. And like I said, guys, it doesn't matter what team you really use. You're going to get two attempts every single day. I'll just use Alpha really quick, guys, because it really doesn't matter. I mean, I could use Fire God Lee or whoever, but just to save a little time, I'm just going to use a team that's already equipped. And the faster you do this, the more points that you're actually going to be able to gain. And... Boom, and they're pretty much going to be dead. Alpha just murders them, right? And that's one attempt. So you'll be doing this 10 times every single day until this new stage will actually get unlocked. Right? You'll obtain 10 of these. Very nice. Right? And we just did one attempt, right? And once you clear all of it, you'll start getting these rewards. And then this here will actually get unlocked once you clear 10 of the dreaming nodes so it's a pretty good little event you know it's not too bad at all you'll be able to get some resources out of this shop and if you're interested in buying the new chrome skin this is a really great way to go because it's going to give you a lot a, a larger discount compared to what it originally cost so let me know what you guys think about these new events and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gd plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody